AMA 2014 yet again in Yenugua. The African Movie Academy Awards AMA 2014 is set to hold on Saturday, May 2014 in Yenugua. The awards is celebrating its 10th anniversary edition and it is designed to feature a panel discussion of motion picture industry in Africa and a social responsibility component with primary and secondary schools in Yenugua as participants. Built to perform at the African Most Glizzy Movie Awards is a constellation of celebrities drawn from music, movies and broadcasting. The award promises to be magical as all roads lead to Yenugua by Aysa State. Don't be told. Colette Mwadike emerges Miss Tourism Nigeria 2014. 23 years old Colette Mwadike emerged winner of the just concluded Miss Tourism Nigeria held May 17th in Lagos. Colette, a graduate of the Inamdi Azikiwe University, Oka, who represented Anambra State, had shown 34 other contestants to emerge the winner. She will represent Nigeria at the 2014 Miss Tourism World Pageant, which will hold later in the year. Prince AK apologizes to fans. Actor and filmmaker Prince AK released an official press statement in regards to the recent theft scandal involving himself as South African rapper Prosper and actress Angela Corey. In the statement, Prince AK apologized to his fans for getting himself involved in the dirty scandal, advising Angela Corey to discontinue further spreading of the allegations of him conniving with Prosper to spoil her name. Shegu and Rinze asked National Film and Censor Board boss to resign. The film adaptation of Shimamanda Adichie book, Half of a Yellow Sun, was set to hit the cinemas few weeks ago, but it was stopped by the censor board for reasons known to them. Now, the actor and former Actors Guild of Nigerian President Shegu and Rinze is calling for re recognition of Director General of the Censor Board, Madame Patricia Bala, to release the movie Half of a Yellow Sun, that she has no right to censor the movie, but only to classify it. On the foreign scene, overweight Rob Kardashian responds to critic. The 27-year-old overweight reality star Rob Kardashian was spotted shopping in France with his family for his sister's wedding, Kim Kardashian. The dude who stepped out for the first time in weeks had his photos trending on social media, becoming a subject of queer jokes with many people calling him fat. He later lashed out at critics for calling him names, saying, So I found out I was trending for being fat. Thank you all. It really made my day. End of quote. Kanye West and the Kardashians storm Paris. The world's most talked about celebrity wedding between Kim and Kanye is set to hold in Italy on May 24th. Both Kim and Kanye are in Paris with the whole Kardashians to shop in preparation for the big wedding. They have taken the streets of Paris by storm and paparazzi there don't seem to get enough of the family. 50 Cent blast for skipping son's graduation. Rapper 50 Cent's oldest son, Marcus Jackson, who recently graduated from high school, has lashed out on his father for skipping his high school graduation. A disappointed Marcus, who cried with his mom, took to Instagram to let people know what his father did. 50 Cent did not only refuse to show up, he did not share the happy news on his social media pages as he would have. 50 Cent, in a reaction to his son's post on Facebook, claimed he was not invited. The fuss between father and son may have resulted to a scheme. And finally, Ray J's profits from sex tape as wedding gift to Kim and Kanye. Ray J, who told TMZ, says he's writing a check to Kim and Kanye for $46,840. The amount end in the last four months from the sex tape he made back in 2007 as a wedding gift. But if Kim doesn't accept the check, he, Ray, may donate the money to Kim's favorite charity. Kim gets as much as Ray J from the sex tape, but the exact amount is unknown.